Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. Like I said, I've been away for a couple of weeks, so I've got some stuff piling up here. I'm going to show you a few more things that came from my local coin shop, some eBay buys, and even a coin show buy. I actually won this a while back. It's a 1927 Denver peace dollar. I won it in an auction for two peace dollars. Got a nice price. I think I paid maybe 25 a piece for this and a 1922. The 1922 is for my son's birthday. I get him a hundred year old coin every year. He's over there uh, watching his iPad for a minute, so uh, I don't think he heard me. Say hi, Big Penny Haven. No, he's not interested in that right now. I don't normally buy a lot of stuff on eBay from overseas. Just, you know, just don't do it. But I found a shop out of Ireland and had a lot of nice big silver pieces. Uh, good prices, cleaned, but the, the ones that I got are cleaned, but very good prices. So I said, what the heck? I paid the extra sh for shipping. I waited the extra time for shipping and it still was a great deal. So first up, this is only the second one of these coins I've ever had. This right here. Big hunk of sterling silver, that's Queen Victoria. And this is an 1887 double florin. Now, you may have seen recently I had another one of these that I just got, and the other one I got is not cleaned, so that one's going into my collection just for the type coin. And this one is probably going to go up on my eBay store, so if you are looking for a double florin, and if you have looked for them before, you'll know that they can be pricey. If you are interested in getting your hands on one, Check out my eBay store. And along with that order, I also got this 1889 crown. It's a big hunk of sterling silver right there. I love the reverse. You get it on the crown, and you also get it on the reverse of the gold sovereign and half sovereign, which is a beautiful coin as well. Pretty great shape. Uh, cleaned. Not too recent of a clean, so it's got some nice after cleaning character and grime and whatnot going on. So, there we go. Also, I will check that against my collection. And if I have a nicer, you know, widow's head crown, I'll keep that one and this one I will resell. And they were kind enough to throw in a little bonus. This is an 1891 three pence. So that was super cool. I love when people do that. I like to toss in little extras sometimes uh, when people order off of my eBay store, especially if it's someone I know like through the channel and I have an idea of things that they like. I like to sneak in a little, little bonus coin now and then. So something else to think about. I'm trying to make a collection of British crowns uh, going back and just one of each type. So seeing how far back I can go. I recently got that nice set that covered a lot of the Elizabethan crowns. I'm not going to get every special release or anything, but definitely going to get the silver ones. And this is a George V crown. I will admit this is not my favorite design, but you got to get it if you're going to collect them all. The Pokemon of Crown coins right here. This is a complete reimagining of the you know, classic St. George Slays the Dragon that you see on the Victorian crown. It's a little more cartoonish. It's just kind of odd looking. I don't know why, but that's what they did. This next coin is a Victorian sterling silver half crown. It's not in great shape, but I already had an order in with this guy and so I was looking to toss extra things on 
to take advantage of the combined shipping. Plus, he was also working with me and accepting offers, so I got this on the cheap. Basically, it's worth the silver. A little bit more if you know people just need a Victorian half crown. They ever had one? It's a. They're pretty cool pieces. This is a younger version. Look at that. You can see on the obverse there. It is an 1883. There's the reverse. This, it's probably going to go to my eBay store. This was a coin shop pickup. This is a Venezuela Five Bolivares, 1910. It's a 90% silver. It's a big old honker. This is one of those crown-sized coins of the world. There he is. I'm going to compare this to the one I have in my collection and the one I like less. It's going to go to eBay. I might even put it up on auction. We'll see. I've started putting out videos every Saturday of the things that I have currently up for auction on my eBay store, so be sure to check that out. If you know me, you know I'm a penny guy, a cent guy if you must, and I didn't have a 1909 VDB slapped. So my brother-in-law just happened to be at a coin show a couple weekends ago, asked me if there's anything I wanted. I said, hey, price, price some VDBs out for me. And he found this, this butte right here, an NGC, 1909 VDB, MS64 RB, red brown. The reverse, it's just got some really cool stuff going on. It almost looks steel. It's got this real blue look to it. I love it. And then right after uh, I got that coin from him, eBay notified me that I won my auction. I dropped one bid on this coin, <laughs> didn't think I was going to get it. And it was a 1909 VDB MS64 RB. I tell you, my brother-in-law is uh, a pretty good haggler. He, uh, he got 20 bucks knocked off of that coin for me. And I definitely paid more for this one. So, more fool me. I think this one is going to go up for auction. Keep an eye out for that. I'm going to keep the one that brother-in-law got me. Coming down to the end, I also recently picked up uh, four or five of these Canada Mint silver-proof dollars. That one is the uh, Library, yeah, the Library of Parliament, and of course it's Queen Elizabeth II on the other side. Unfortunately, the case kind of broke down in there a little bit. The plastic. The velvety plastic snapped. It's old, you know. So, I don't know. I might put that on eBay. Currently do have one of these, the Voyager version, up on eBay in an auction. British Columbia, toned proof silver dollar. That one's very cool. That one I'm keeping. It even had its little... And they come with a to and from option here. Little gift from the mint, Canada Mint. And of course, Canada, a lot of French speakers. So it also says a, de, to and from. Finally. If you've watched my channel for a while, you've probably heard me mention this mint set because it is Probably my favorite mint set out there. Definitely my, the favorite one that I own. And that is the 1967 Canada Centennial. Each coin depicts a Canadian animal. You have the rock dove, the hare, uh, oh, I can't remember the fish. Oh, is it a haddock? Is it a... Rupert? No, I don't know what. Oh, I can't believe I forgot the fish. Holy mackerel. It's a mackerel. Okay. Then we've got the Canadian wolf. Oh, I missed the uh, Canada lynx on the quarter. The howling Canadian wolf on the half. And of course, the grand, the majestic Canadian goose on the silver dollar. 
This was a big transition too in Canada. The next year they started making copper nickel coins. So they had this nice silver set. And I bought one of these like a year and a half ago, two years ago at my LCS. And then I paid 10 bucks more for this one. But still not bad considering what it costs to piece those sets together individually. Which reminds me, I've been buying up all the 1967 loose uh, Canadian coins I could find, and now I can piece together actual sets to sell on eBay, or maybe even direct sell if you're interested in grabbing one of these, because it's a really cool set. Uh, drop me an email, it's pennyhavenplus at gmail.com, and yeah, I'll work something out. I'll piece one together for you, depending on the condition you want, and yeah. It's a great set. I highly recommend it. Okay, that's going to be all for right now. Thank you so much for all of your support. It's really great. And as always, I want to thank my Patreon supporters and I want to thank my YouTube Penny Haven channel members. You too can become you too can become a Penny Haven YouTube channel member for the low low price of roughly 10 cents a day. You also get a welcome gift with that. Hey, sign up pay $2.99, get the welcome gift, which is worth more than $2.99, and cancel the next month. Go ahead, I've created a ridiculous loophole. I dare you to do it. Okay, time to get out of here. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.